Hey everybody, welcome back to Winnemac Hockey, where today we're going to talk about some dark horse teams in the National Hockey League that we think could sneak their way into the playoffs. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more NHL content. Let's hop into the video. All right, everybody, so the NHL season is over halfway done, which is kind of crazy to think about, and we are about a month away from the trade deadline, so the push to the playoffs has officially begun. And as we've seen in the past, no team is out until they are officially out. So let's talk about a couple teams that we think have a solid chance of sneaking their way into the playoffs. Jake, let's come over to you. Who do you think has a chance? All right, so I'm going off the board with this one. One team that I think really has a chance this year is the Colorado Avalanche. No, I'm kidding. The Columbus Blue Jackets. They're currently sitting right outside of the the wild card they're nine points behind boston and the east that's a tough conference this year but the blue jackets they're moving in the right direction they're seven and three in their last 10. patrick line decided to wake up he's playing great hockey and i think they they won it so yeah i'm gonna pick the columbus blue jackets fellas thoughts on columbus <laughs> you're crazy you're crazy not this year years to come maybe they need a they need a netminder they need somebody they can rely on when they get uh, put on the pressure in the D zone, but just not this year, especially in the Eastern Conference. All no right, way. Matt, go ahead and roast my pick before I make my rebuttal. <laughs> well, I mean, at least they're the team that's in third place in the wild card. It could be worse. You could be picking like Montreal or something, but uh, I don't know about that, especially since they got Boston ahead of them, and I think Boston's probably going to make moves to the deadline to get even better. And you know, with the same games in hand and they're nine points up that's a hard hill to climb and uh playing in the metro like that their schedule is not going to be easy toward the end of the stretch of the season so i don't know I, I all right don't, i don't know so let's take a look at those teams you mentioned so they've got boston nine points ahead of them they've got washington mm -hmm. 10 points ahead of them but here's the thing those two teams are both five and five in their last 10 games so the blue jackets have edged them by two games already and that's just the beginning of this resurgence, right? You tell me, do you think anyone had faith in the Columbus Blue Jackets when they were going against the elite President's Trophy winning Tampa Bay Lightning? No one believed in them then, and no one believes in them now, except for me. So when it happens, don't come crying to me. Well, the difference is they actually had star power back then, and they had players that they could actually rely on. This year, yeah, Patrick Line has been playing better as of late, but their defense is utterly atrocious except for Zach Rowinski. And their goaltender really has been hit or miss this year. He's been about league average. And to make the playoffs and get out of the hump that they've been in, you need a goalie to play better than league average. Mm -hmm. You don't know the Blue Jackets. They are running on Dreams and Jake Voracek and Patty Line are the best combo in the league right now. I honestly think it's just you and Nasher that are the only people on the entire internet that think they're going to make the playoffs, but... Well, we'll see what happens. Good luck. Jake, I'll have to say, I believed in the Columbus Blue Jackets when they upset Tampa, so I can say that. But unfortunately, I do not believe in the Columbus Blue Jackets right now. I think they're heading in the right direction. They're above 500. That's great. But I don't think they have what it takes to get it done for the same reasons that Matt was talking about. But... I think it's a good pick, and it'll be a team that's definitely going to be interesting to watch as we approach the trade deadline. So, Matt, let's come over to you. What team do you have sneaking into the playoffs, my friend? Now, I have one team that uh, is only three points out there in the Western Conference wildcard race right now, and been playing really good hockey as late. Actually just ended uh, Calgary's 10-game win streak. I have the Vancouver Canucks. I've been high on them pretty much ever since they made the fire, uh, ever since they fired their old coach, Green, and brought in and ever since that they've been on fire and there's been players all over the lineup guys like Brock Besser guys like Elias Peterson who really weren't doing well towards the beginning of the season and they've really come on strong now and their goaltender Thatcher Demko is playing out of his mind lately and they're going to need that even more and I think with how tight 
the wild card is in the Western Conference. It's pretty much anyone's guess on who's going to get that second wild card spot. I think with Vancouver, how they're playing right now, if they can keep up that pace and not sell at the deadline, that's the big thing. If they don't sell at the deadline, I think they have a really good chance of sneaking in and making that third, second wild card spot. Vander, as a Canucks fan, what do you think of Matt's pick? Uh, they're not my pick, but I can see why. I. I think they will sell at the deadline, unfortunately. JT Miller's asking price for his next contract is going to be way more than the Canucks can take on. And I've been hearing all these trade rumors about Brock Besser, and that just, if you sell out your team, we're definitely not making it to the playoffs this year. I think they're they're more uh, future-focused than win now, unfortunately. Okay. Jake, thoughts on Vancouver? All right, so I'm kind of in the middle of these two picks because I don't think they trade Miller. I think he's got a year left on his contract. I think they're testing the market so they might move him next year. And I just, I don't think that they, it's too little too late. They were too bad for too long. Maybe if they had the coaching change at the beginning, they're much closer to a playoff spot and they don't have to make up as much ground. But I think the teams ahead of them are going to play just decent enough to keep them out. Okay. That's the thing, though. I will hop in here and say guys like Edmonton and guys like Anaheim are really slumping right now, and those are the teams ahead of them as of right now. So as they're going up, what's also helping them is the teams above them, in their same division, by the way, are going down, which means most likely I don't know if they play either of them on the schedule right now, but if they do, those games are going to be crucial down the stretch, and I can see with how they're playing right now, they could take on anybody. True. They are definitely a scary team right now. So, Vander, the Canucks, you said, are not your pick, so I am intrigued to know who you have sneaking into the playoffs. I actually, I have the Dallas Stars. I think they're playing good hockey right now. I think they'll keep it consistent. However, I think John Klingberg, who is a hot on the market right now, I think if they sell, if they sell out, I don't think they make the playoffs this year. But I definitely think they're going to be a team to reckon with in the future. Interesting. Thoughts on Dallas, fellas? Yeah, no, I think I think the Stars are going to make the playoffs, a couple of them anyways. I think Braden Holtby is going to make the playoffs with Washington, and I think that John Klingberg is going to make the playoffs with someone else. Yeah, some Stars are going to make the playoffs, but these Stars, not a chance. Matt? I, I just, I don't know. Um, right now, they've been really hit or miss. I mean, they had a game against uh, one of, uh, the Jets that went down to the wire. That's a team they needed to beat, and they gave them a point or two, so... And there's teams around, like, they're going to be continuing to be playing central teams who are always tough outs, like guys like uh, St. Louis and teams like the Wild who are probably going to get better at the deadline. They're probably going to have to play them again. And then there's guys like, uh, obviously, Colorado, who's been on fire all year long. So with their schedule and with their place in the standings right now, they have a lot of hurdles to get over, and I just think it's one too many for them. Yeah, the Stars are going to be one of those teams where – the deadline is going to say everything that we need to know about where management thinks their team is heading. Uh, and it's, it's going to be interesting because Vander, I think you have a good point. Like they're right there on the cusp of a playoff spot. So the, these next few weeks before the deadline are going to really tell the story for Dallas. You can't forward. forget about Joe Pavelski either. I think they're too far out right now. That's not a risk that makes sense to take. If you can trade these guys and get some draft capital, you do that. So you've got Pavelski, he's going. You have uh, Klingberg, he's going, because he's going to be a free agent. And then uh, I'm not sure how much term Holtby has left, but if there's interest in Holtby, you've got Jake Ottinger, let him play, get rid of Holtby, and let Ottinger develop the rest of the season. But I just think they're going to be sellers, which pretty much eliminates their chance. Mm -hmm. All right, fellas. So Jake, you had Columbus sneaking into the playoffs. Matt, you had Vancouver and Vander, you have the Dallas Stars. Some interesting picks and teams that are definitely playing well as of right now. But hey, let us know in the comments below who you think is going to sneak their way into the playoffs. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for tuning in to Winamac Hockey, and we'll see you next time.